The other day I found this video which was made by a guy who calls himself Jesus is Risen. I will let him introduce himself. Hello everyone, this is uh, Jesus is Risen and um, I he I'm here today to tell you that modern day atheism does not exist. Atheism does not exist? I think it does exist. It's a concept and um, Let's hear what you have to say about that. And um, how I'm going to prove that is using the theory of evolution and the Big Bang. Those are the two things which are most often misunderstood by the people who criticize them. So, do carry on. Um, also, I'm going to use one uh, Bible verse, um, actually two Bible verses, to... Um, have my input in there from a, a, a theist's point of view. Okay, fair enough. Right now I'm going to read you the Bible verse. Um, Romans one nineteen through 20. And it says, Because that which is known about God is evident within them, for God made it evident to them, for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. Alright, what this means is that God planted evidence of his, of his existence in the very nature of man, okay? Not only does everyone know that there is a creator, but they know enough about the real God to hate him, and they try to drive him from their thoughts, okay? This is where atheism uh, comes about. The first thing you're doing here is to assume that the Bible is what it says it is. Um, you assume that it was written by God. And... The next thing you assume is that everybody believes that God is real, and not only that, but the atheists hate him. We don't, as, as a non-believer, it's in the description non-believer, we don't believe that God is real, and how can we hate something we don't think is real. It doesn't make any sense. This this is why they they um, make up every excuse they can possibly come up with to um, to to tell that there is not a god that that there is no such thing as a creator. Okay. They're not so much excuses, but rather a lack of evidence, which leads to a lack of belief. So right now I'm going to um, use. Uh, the atheists own medicine against them, which is the Big Bang and the theory of evolution, okay? As I already mentioned, the Big Bang and the theory of evolution are greatly misunderstood by creationists and those who want to disprove either of those things. Here we go. Alright. So, if you look up the definition of a god, it means the supernatural being conceived as the perfect and um, omnipotent and omniscient originator. Originator, remember, originator. And ruler of the universe, let me read that again. The supernatural being conceived as the perfect and omnipo uh, omnipotent and omniscient originator and ruler of the universe, okay? That is the definition of a god, okay? That is a definition of a god, not necessarily the definition of a god. There are many different ways that uh, God is described. There are many different opinions about what God is. That's a very hard thing to pin down, so what you have here is your interpretation of what God is. The definition of atheism is a doctrine or belief that there is no God, okay? So it's... Pr so pretty much atheism equals um, no originator of the universe, there wasn't a, a, an origin, no one started it, okay? Once again, this is a very brief summary of what atheism means. Most atheists would describe themselves as non-believers. They lack a belief in God or gods. So that's right from the get-go you you obviously know that it doesn't exist be because something had to have been the beginning okay something had to be the beginning why must that be so why 
So the theory of evolution, and if you're not familiar with the theory of evolution, it's saying, uh, for example, that man um, came from something like an ape. Uh, I asked my science teacher, and she said that man didn't come from an ape. They both have two similar ancestors, okay? It's possible that your science teacher didn't know what she was talking about, but it's also possible that you misinterpreted what you were told, or um, didn't remember it that accurately. The thing you're looking for, the concept you're looking for, is a common ancestor. So that doesn't mean humans and chimpanzees came from something like an ape. Specifically, it means that approximately six million years ago, the ancestor of all humans and the ancestor of all chimpanzees was one single species. And whether by geographical separation or some other reason, the two groups of ape-like creatures um, diverged and after a certain point in time with many many changes the two species could no longer interbreed. And, and that species came from another species which came from another species which came from another species, that is not a very good or a very accurate description. The species evolved over time. They changed gradually from one generation to the next. You wouldn't notice a difference between parents and their offspring, and their offspring, and their offspring, um, only when you compare thousands of generations or more, and then you would notice a difference over time. Um, which came from a plant, which came from another plant, which came from bacteria. Here, you're completely misunderstanding the, the sequence of changes from uh, one creature to another, one life form to another. The tree of life is basically a family tree um, which shows at which points the different species diverged. So between ourselves and the chimpanzees there is a common ancestor, then further back there is a common ancestor with the orangutans, further back there are common ancestors with all mammals, and further back there are common ancestors with all warm-blooded creatures, and that goes back and back and back. But um, plants are on a completely separate branch of the tree of life. To find the common ancestors between plants and humans, or plants and any other animals, you have to go way, way, way back. Which came from an energy, an energy source, which I was a bit confused because, um, if if to get all those all that life, you would need to have an origin, okay? This does sound very confusing. An energy source, the earliest life forms were self-replicating molecules. I'm not an expert in evolutionary biology, especially the very early stages. Um, I would recommend that you look up a YouTube user called Don Exodus 2. Um, he knows an awful lot more than I do about evolution, even Thunderfoot. Uh, there, there are many, many people who make good videos who could explain this in far more detail than I can. But basically what I'm saying is that your understanding of what evolution is, is seriously flawed. So in order to discredit it, you really need to understand it better. If, if, you, if you traced man and um, go down the line through all of its... Uh, evolution states then you would you would uh, meet the energy source and that is the origin okay that is the origin all right everything has to go down to one place there was always what started what started everything what started everything it sounds to me like you're confused about the difference between the theory of evolution and the theory of the Big Bang in cosmology they're two completely separate things, and the theory of evolution describes how life forms evolve over time 
from one species to another species. Um, it's a gradual process. Okay, there has to be a beginning of of some of everything. Okay, of the universe, and and the theory of evolution proves this because th there had to be a start of life, which is uh, the energy source. So therefore, that energy source is your God. Correct. Okay. No, that is not right. Life, as far as we know, appeared on this planet about three and a half billion years ago. Possibly, it's we don't know for sure, but. Um, the Earth had probably already existed for a billion years before the first self-replicating life forms appeared. Therefore, so far, atheism is obviously a monotheistic religion. Atheism is not a religion, uh, and it's not a monotheistic religion. Atheism is a lack of belief in gods. Uh, religions believe that gods are real. Atheists don't believe that God is real. Simple as that. That's it. Okay, so now we're going to use the Big Bang. Okay. If you aren't familiar with the Big Bang Theory, um, let me give you the definition of the Big Bang. The cosmic explosion that is hypothesized to have marked the origin of the universe, okay? It's right there. The answer is right there. The cosmic explosion... Sorry about that. The cosmic explosion that is hypothesized to have marked the origin of the universe, okay? It's in the definition that that is your God, okay? The origin of the universe, okay? Just because your particular definition of God is the originator of the universe does not mean that the origin of the universe had to start with a God. There are other possibilities. The Big Bang equals the origin of the universe. Alright, definition of atheism. Um, there, the belief that there is no God. Definition of God. There is no originator of the universe. It is true that um, we don't know for absolute certain that there is no God, but we know with a greater amount of certainty that the God described in the Bible is a less plausible concept are you some... I don't even want to get into that right now, but it's... <laughs> it's so stupid, I, I don't know. Perhaps it is your limited understanding of the theory of evolution and the theory of the Big Bang which makes you think that the whole thing is very stupid. Um, incidentally, the Big Bang, the name the Big Bang, uh, does not describe at all accurately what happened. To think of it as an explosion, even in your definition, doesn't really accurately describe what we know about the beginning of the universe. The beginning of the universe, which is thought to be about 13.7 billion years ago, was the beginning of space and time. So, one thing which one question which is often asked is uh, what caused the Big Bang? Now because the Big Bang was the beginning of time the question what caused that doesn't make a lot of sense. There was no time before that for something to start the whole thing in motion. Um, there was no space before that either. I'm only 16 years old, and, and I can clearly see what 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, even like 90-year-olds today can't even see. It's so... it is so... wow. Well, I am 20 years older than you, and one of the things I've learnt in the last 20 years is to be wary about jumping to conclusions, because you can often be wrong. It's far better to study a subject in some detail, and... Try to, f try to prove yourself wrong. Try to find out how you got to the conclusions you have. Okay, um, yeah. So those two things prove that um, atheism is a polytheistic religion, okay? A polytheistic religion? Earlier on you were saying it's a monotheistic religion. Either way, atheism is not a religion. You have a god of an energy source, okay? And you have a god of the Big Bang. The Big Bang is your god, people, okay? The Big Bang is not a god. The theory of the Big Bang 
has been arrived at from many different sources of inquiry. For example, the cosmic microwave background radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang. The fact that the universe is expanding means that we can measure the rate that the universe is expanding and calculate backwards in time, and that leads to an estimated age of 13.7 million years for the age of the universe. You're telling me that there is no origin of the universe? Yet you are watching this video right now? How can you even say that? I didn't say that. Okay, maybe maybe my God is not your God, but you still have a God, which is the Big Bang, um, the energy source that created life, okay? You don't make any sense. I don't make any sense. Those things are not gods. They are concepts and theories. A god is something else. Yeah, you don't make any sense at all, okay? And, um, if you want to leave comments to make fun of me saying that I'm an idiot, then be my guest. But we all know who the real idiot is. I could say something here, but, uh, it wouldn't be very kind. Uh, thank you uh, so much, and have a, have a great day. God bless. Thank you very much, and have a great day too. To summarize briefly, I would strongly recommend that you do a little bit more research on what the theory of evolution is, how it works, the mechanisms involved, and also have a look at the theory of the Big Bang, even though it's got a name which doesn't really describe what it is. It's really, it's the expansion of the universe, the expansion of the space between the galaxies. That's what's happening now. The space is expanding. The galaxies are the same size, moving further apart. These are all fascinating subjects, and you could do a lot worse than checking out some of the links which I will put here as an annotation. Another thing, there is a guy who, on here on YouTube, who calls himself Evidence, and he has made some very good videos which describe how he lost his faith in God over a number of years. I would recommend, recommend watching his videos. Start at the beginning, he's done a whole series. And if nothing else, watch them to get a better understanding of what atheists are saying and why. If your God is real, then any research, any inquiries you make will only make this clearer.